I spend all day looking for news stories, and this is what I get. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take sh- I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up He told me, quote, at a top robotics company in Japan this week, Four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans in the lab. The scariest part is that lab workers deactivated two of the robots, took apart the third, but the fourth robot began restoring itself and somehow connected to an orbiting satellite to download information about how to rebuild itself even more strongly than before. This is a quote. This is serious Linda, but you're never going to hear about this in the news. Now, the thing that's going to be tricky here is that it's going to be very tempting to use AI as a weapon. In fact, it will be used as a weapon. Um, the danger is going to be more humans using it against each other, I think. Most likely. In the prior year, I had been communicating with uh, a Marine who had retired from the Marines but was working special forces. And he had been communicating to me about a number of ET related revelations, secrets that he and a team of special forces were involved with. And so he had kept in touch with me, usually through short texts, or every once in a while, he would call and say, uh, You're tapped. Uh, I'm tapped. I'm only going to speak for, and it would be like 30 seconds or a minute, and then hang up. And we, I understood why, and that was what we were doing. Well, uh, it was in uh, August of 2017. The phone rang. I picked it up. I knew his voice. Uh, can't stay on the line long, but I want you to know that this week, which would have been uh, the, mid, I think, second week of August 2017, in Japan, 29 humans were killed in a laboratory that was producing militarized robots by the Japanese for warfare. And then he went on to explain what he had learned because they're in these units, that something like that that would happen, they would receive information. And he said that the story was the four militarized robots were being made to be autonomous warriors. And that they don't know why, but the four rebelled or acted autonomously. And as they acted autonomously, they killed 29 humans in this lab and the whoever was left on the human side began pulling this is the way he said they began pulling the robots apart they got two of them completely disassembled were working on the third and then the uh, analysis later was what happened with the fourth the fourth was communicating with a satellite that they were teaching these militarized robots how to communicate with the satellite to get information on mission and that the fourth robot was now extending up to the satellite and was searching for information about how to make itself stronger to take on apparently the remaining humans. What did they do exactly to that fourth? I don't know, but I understand they took it apart. Would they ever put them back together? So now we're up to a point in August of 2017 where I'm hearing a story that is shocking and uh, I, I would say is like a warning that hits you out of the blue that if in August of 2017 four militarized robots being taught to be autonomous could do that in a lab. It made Elon Musk only uh, two months before in June at the Rhode Island Governors Association meeting. There were 30, 33 governors from the United States and Elon Musk was one of the invited speakers. And when they sat him down in a chair and they started asking him his perspective as being head of Tesla and X of SpaceX, he said, I think that the greatest problem that scares me the most, artificial intelligence. And he said statements like, people don't don't understand that the robots, they are not going to need sleep. They're not going to need sick days. They're going to be able to do everything better, faster, 
more efficiently and smarter than humans. And then he went on and he said, I am convinced that artificial intelligence right now is an existential threat to this planet. Are robots going to take our jobs, everybody's jobs in the future? Or? Um, you know, I, I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. I think people should be really concerned about it. I keep so sounding the alarm bell, but you know, until people see like robots going down the street killing people, like they don't know how to react. AI is a rare case where I think we need to be proactive in regulation instead of reactive because I think by the time we are reactive in AI regulation it's too late. Um, AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization in a way that car accidents, uh, airplane crashes, um, faulty drugs, bad food were, were not. Instead of individuals within society of course but they were not harmful to society as a whole. AI is a fundamental existential risk for human civilization and I don't think people fully appreciate that. You know, in the car business, we, you know, we get regulated uh, by Department of Transport, by EPA and a bunch of others. In space, uh, we get regulated by FAA. But, but you know, if you ask the average person, hey, you wanna, do you want to get rid of the FAA um, and just like take a, take a chance on manufacturers not cutting corners on the aircraft because, uh, you know, profits were down that quarter? Uh, I was like, uh, hell no. Um, <laughs> Um, that sounds terrible. <laughs> you know, I think even people who are pretty you know, extremely like libertarian free market, they'd be like, yeah, we should probably have somebody keeping an eye on the aircraft companies, making sure they build a good aircraft um, and good cars and that kind of thing. So, you know, I think there's, there's a role for regulators. Um, that's very important. Um, and I'm against overregulation. Get on that with AI, Prono. Um, and uh, so, so there'll certainly be a lot of job disruption because what's going to happen is robots will be able to do everything better than us. I mean, all of us. You know, um, I'm not sure exactly what to do about this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the, it's the, like, it, this is really like the scariest problem to me. I really think we need government regulation here just to ensuring the public good is served. Because you've got companies that are racing, that they kind of have to race to build AI or they're going to be made uncompetitive. You know, like, the, essentially, if your competitor is racing to build AI and you don't, they will crush you. So then you're like, ah, we don't want to be crushed. So that's where you need the regulators to come in and say, hey guys, um, you all need to really pause and make sure this is safe. And like when, when it's cool and we're convinced and regulators are convinced that it's safe to proceed, then you can go. But otherwise, slow down. I mean, there's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. But when I say everything, like the robots will be able to do everything, bar, bar nothing. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Till next time, watch me now.